All right, well, welcome everyone. I am JJ. Let's tackle an example problem. So we have some structural connection here. Six bolts centered at point C um, are subjected to an eight kip force as shown. Let's replace that with an equivalent force and a couple moment at point C. Um, so first off, a lot of times, this is where I introduce in my class what a kip is. You might have seen this before. Um, we're going to mention it here in this video anyway. A kip is a weird mashup of a SI prefix and a imperial or US unit. That K stands for kilo, or the KI stands for kilo. The P stands for pounds. A kilo pound is all that we're saying here. Um, kilo is 1,000 pounds. So eight kips is 8,000 pounds. For whatever reason, engineers decided kips made more sense than to use tons. Eight kips and four tons are the same thing. Nobody uses tons when they do most engineering. Um, so we're not going to use tons. We will use kips from here, to here and there, though. Um, it's really like newtons go to kilonewtons. Pounds, when we get a bunch of them, we use kips instead. Um, so 8,000 pounds is acting here. Uh, if we're trying to get an equivalent force and a couple moment, we're moving that to a new line of action. Our new system then, and we'll end up sketching this on the right, needs to have the same tendency to translate. Are some of the forces should be the same? And tendency to rotate. Are some of our moments about any point has to be the same in our two pictures in here. So really all that I need to do is say, well, let's just start out and to keep the same tendency to translate, we just directly move our force. So I can come into the new picture and say, I still have acting in the exact same direction down into the left, an eight kip force. And it still is at a three, four, five triangle. So I can get that labeled in here as well. Um, three, four, five. Um, that takes care of half of our work. We have the same tendency to translate our object right now. Um, to keep our tendency to rotate though, because I moved to a new line of action, I just have to sum up moments. So I'm going to sum my moments about whatever point I moved everything to. Here about point C. And then we'll introduce that as a couple moment in our picture. So we can come in and say with positive going counterclockwise, let's sum up our moments about point C. And this is going to get us, so we're using this picture here. And let's check its X and its Y component. So we deal with the X component first. It's going to the left. If we pin our paper at C and push to the left up above C, we're going to get a counterclockwise rotation in here. So that should be positive. So Fx, four-fifths of eight, four-fifths times eight, times, what's our distance? From the X component forces line of action, down to C is 0.8 feet. So times 0 0.8. And then we'll check our Y component. The Y component will be going straight down here. So if we pinned our paper at C and we pulled straight down, we'd start to get a clockwise rotation out from that. I assume counterclockwise was positive, so I'll subtract this off. Minus Fy dx, or minus 3 fifths, the Y leg of our triangle, because I'm looking at the Y component, divide by the hypotenuse, times the magnitude of our force, 3 fifths times 8. Times then what's my x distance? Fy dx I need to have. So distance in the x from C to the force is 1.75 feet times 1.75. Um, this is going to get us that our couple moment here is negative 3.82 kip feet. That's negative when we are working with counterclockwise in there. Um, we always want to get that as a positive with the right direction. Really that total moment here, and what I'm going to need to introduce as a couple moment into our object is we'll drop our negative and change this rotation. Is a positive 3.82 kip feet, and we're going clockwise with that. Um, so to finish our problem, we have it as a single force. Uh, we have a couple moment that we need to introduce to offset that change in rotation. Um, up here, we'll be getting a rotation of 3.82 kip feet clockwise. Right now, with no couple moment on here, um, we would have no rotation. That was our moment about point C. Now we have no moment about point C in here. If I stick in a couple moment, though, it has to go clockwise. But past that, I can stick this anywhere I want. So sticking a couple moment in here of 3.82 kip feet. 
Uh, we now have the same tendency to rotate. We preserved our tendency to translate with the force. That couple moment needs to get introduced to have the same tendency to rotate everything for us. Um, that's really all we have to do. Move the force, add in a couple moment. And we could do that with more and more pieces, but we'll save that for a later video for everything. Um, if this was useful, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get you an A with JJ.